Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to configure Wi-Fi settings for iOS devices in Microsoft Intune. By configuring Wi-Fi settings for iOS devices, your iOS devices will automatically connect to your Wi-Fi, which are under scope of your organization. And this creation would be two types. One would be the basic and enterprise. If you can remember what the settings, what we have done for Windows 10 and later, similar settings, we are going to get it here if you choose basic or enterprise. Let's jump into the section how to create. To begin with, uh, you can go to the Microsoft Intune. Uh, let me click here, Microsoft Intune, I don't want to save, and go back to your device configuration and click on profiles and create a profile and give a meaningful name and give a name and description and choose here as a platform iOS and choose a profile type as Wi-Fi. Now when you click on configure you're going to get it uh, two different settings one would be the basic other one would be the enterprise. By configuring this Wi-Fi profiles, it's uh, giving you more advanced features, uh, including authentication to your network, adding PKS or uh, SEP certificates and more. Wi-Fi settings are uh, uh, separated in two different categories as we talked, like basic and enterprise. Let's jump into the uh, basic. Basic stands here as a very normal settings what you can configure and this value is the name of uh, name that users normally see on your uh, available connections list of uh, settings uh, like in the Wi-Fi settings whatever you're able to see that's your network name and you can configure your SSID this property is a real name of the wire wireless network uh, device that uh, wanted to connect however users only see the network name you configure when they choose to connect and uh, coming back to the connect automatically if you enable the setting it's going to be connect automatically to connect to this network when the device is in that range and when you disable it's not going to be affected and coming back to the height network uh, if your SSID is the network isn't broadcasted mechanism then you can choose this specific setting and coming back to the security tab you do have here three different settings uh, if I click out here you can see here the open that means no authentication uh, it's more more or less like a guest kind of authentication where you you are allowing everybody to connect and this specific setting is not a secure one and it uses a, a completely unsecured mechanism and other one would be the WPA or WPA2 uh, which is nothing but a, a uh, you need to enter a pre-share key uh, when your organization network is set it up to or maybe configured with a password or uh, then the network is configured uh, so that the devices have to be into that specific uh, pre-shared key instead of you know the devices to enter you wanted to configure on your own so that means the profile will be available and this whatever the password is available that password uh, will be automatically used the password which you supply here and coming back to the proxy settings like we have done uh, you can configure manually the proxy or can be automatic proxy uh, configurations can be done and now these are the settings which are available under basic what happens is if you choose as the enterprise there would be other settings which will be coming up now name as the same like we talked about name is a value of the name that users uh, can see basically when they're trying to you know uh, browse you can give that uh, name uh, and then the SSID which is uh, SSID stands for service set identifier uh, this is a property of the real name of the wireless network that devices connect uh, users only see the network name uh, and that name uh, is this name is a network name and SSID if you know the SSID you can you know enter that SSID and so that the users can connect uh, coming back to the automatically connect uh, is the option which we talked already similar to the basic setting if the device is within that uh, scope or within that range it will automatically connect coming back to the hidden network if your SSID is not broadcasting you can connect uh, even the hidden mode and now EAP type is nothing but extensible authentication protocol it's own kind of you know, protocol which is used for the authentication to secure your wireless connections so if you are choosing that EAP model or you can choose it or maybe you can choose um, TLS or TTLS or Leap all these are a different uh, level of protocols which use the uh, authentication or the secure communication which would be you know, established you can choose any of them and uh, 
uh, and then uh, all these settings in fact will be given by your network admin or your Wi-Fi admin whoever uh, using if you ask them all these details they would be you know, giving these uh, details and that information you need to simply enter here so that this configuration can be achieved once you have configured all these settings for example I can configure as enterprise and my uh, SID SSID uh, or as well as the network name would be network name would be like uh, Asia. I just felt the required information just just to show you as an example how to uh, create this profile uh, with the information which was given by your network team and once you fill the network name as well as uh, I'm sorry as well as the SSID information you can configure like this and choose your EAP type would be one of the authentication so most of them are required definitely a certificate server so I'm gonna enter my certificate server name which has which can issue our certificates and then you need to have at least a one of the root certificate uh, for that you need to create another profile and then you can choose from here the root uh, certificate profile information once you have that information you can simply select uh, uh, select the certificate uh, that you wanted uh, once you have the certificate is available you can simply click on OK so that so the profile can be created um, after that you know just simply assign uh, to the required groups that's how you will be creating